I want to take this opportunity to convey some facts. Thursday's release of an unusual type of hostage video by the Islamic State was just the latest in a series of sophisticated and highly produced propaganda from the organization. There are two sides to every story. Think you're getting the whole picture? Some recent examples of how video is integral to ISIS's propaganda strategy, now on the New York Times Minute. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, he's only doing this because he's a prisoner. He's got a gun at his head, and he's being forced to do this, right? Well, it's true. Thursday's video was noticeable for its lack of violence. It simply featured John Cantley, a captured British journalist, giving what was billed as a talk aimed at Western audiences. He was, in effect, serving as a spokesman for the organization, making a case against further Western military involvement. Over the next few programs, I'm going to show you the truth. But violence has been a big part of ISIS's other videos. There were, of course, the recent beheadings of American and British captives, but also this recent video, which used the techniques of a Hollywood movie trailer to apparently threaten the lives of American ground forces should they be deployed. And then there's this footage from a recent one-hour-long ISIS video utilizing a camera-equipped drone flying over Fallujah. The sophisticated video and social media efforts appear to be part of the group's larger strategy to sway Western opinion and gain more recruits from around the world. I was like any other regular Canadian. I watched hockey. ISIS now boasts recruits from 74 countries.